you very much. Uh, you're very welcome to this world premiere of the second act um, of The Master by Alberto Caruso, um, directed by Ron Daniels, um, using a libretto that I wrote based on my novel, The Master. The libretto is based on that. Since we're just going to see the second act, you need to know what happened in the first act. <laughs> <laughs> so the first act begins on New Year's Eve, 1899, and Henry James is living alone in Lamb House in Rye in England. He's a writer, and at this stage, he's 56 years old. And his older brother, William, and their sibling rivalry between them all their lives, as we'll see in the second act, William bullies Henry, and with his sister-in-law, Alice. And they sit and they talk. And then, once they go to bed, and Henry James is alone, he is visited by the ghost, who is now, at this point, five years dead, of his old friend, Constance Fenimore Wilson who will appear throughout the opera. And they talk. And um, it, it emerges that he's alone. And that really he has spent his life writing books. And that in a way, he has not had a life. He's had a life as a writer, as a worker. In a way, he's missed many things. As becomes clear, for example, when he has an opening in the theatre, which is a sort of complete disaster. His play Guy Donville, and leaves him sort of forlorn. Um, and also when it emerges that Oscar Wilde has been arrested who's been obviously having a whale of a time in London <laughs> someone comes to ask Henry James and are you, did you, are you on the list? And he said, my, my name is on my books that is the only place my name is in other words, he's been at home working while everybody else has been out partying mm -hmm. and he wonders about this and um, <coughs> it becomes something that preoccupies him but also the, the fate of Oscar Wilde's two children, the two sons, who have had their names changed and leave England and go to Switzerland, mingles with him with ideas of his own childhood, or perhaps him having been in some way or other abandoned emotionally with his sister Alice, who will appear also in the second act. And somehow or other, the way he saw children in Ireland sort of performing, all of that comes together in the creation of his great short story, The Turn of the Screw, which, which we see him in this first act, almost composing, almost coming together then. And um, while, this no while this novel and this opera is about a writer, in a way it's about anyone who arrives at middle age wondering if certain experiences have passed them by, if they've worked too hard, if they've not paid enough attention to other matters. And so that that, and if there could be by any chance a second chance. But also, what's here is Constance Fenimore Wilson, who has come back from the dead, who wants to guard him, protect him, and advise him. But also, we're dealing with the drama of her own restlessness, of what happened to her at the end of her life. She, she can, she, obviously, she can tell the past, she can't tell the future but she doesn't know certain things about the past that Henry James knows. So in this second act, we're going to see Henry James's effort in some way to emerge a second time in his life, to see if he can have a second chance. So I hope you enjoy it, and thank you very much for coming. Yeah. <laughs> 
Fenimore Wilson. Thank you. 
property, propriety, instead of beauty.
Sure. 
I'm sorry. 